Hi everyone, Catherine here with Catherine's Plate. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to my show today. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and hit the bell notification. My shows come out on Mondays and Thursdays and I always have surprises along the way. Today is all about chicken parmesan. Now I know when you hear chicken parmesan, it's probably because you're sitting in a restaurant and that's where you're going to eat it. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to keep it simple, easy, and delicious by making it at home. It can't be any easier than this, y'all. I am using some chicken breasts here. Now, these are thin chicken breasts, so I got them from the store like that. Or you can take a regular sized chicken breast and you can slice it in half and get your thin pieces. Or you can even put one in a bag, like a Ziploc bag, and get your uh, rolling pin and, and beat it, okay? All right, so we're working with thin chicken breasts today, four of them. Now, I'm going to be dredging these because I want to keep these very crispy and yummy for you, all right? So to do that, we're going to be dredging them. It's simple, y'all, really. It's not that hard. You're just going to put three bowls out. We're going to have a flour station an egg station, and then panko and parmesan, all right? And then we're going to use our favorite marinara sauce, <laughs> or you can make your homemade one, whichever one you want, and we're going to pair it with some spaghetti. All right, y'all, I am ready to get started on this, so let's go. All right, so I'm going to start building my dredging station here, and in my first dish here, I'm going to add a quarter cup of flour, and one teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of pepper because we want to flavor our chicken. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of stir that up a little bit. Alright, in our second uh, station we have two eggs that I'm going to beat well, but I'm going to do that after I mix this up here. So in the third station I have my panko crumbs, which was one cup and then I got half a cup of shredded, very finely, Parmesan cheese that's going to go in there. I'm going to mix that up really good. Alright, the paper plates are sitting here as a landing station for when I get my chicken and I just go one, two, three, and land. Alright, so I got a few here just so I can do that with. All right, so I've got one, two. I'm going to go ahead now and just kind of lightly beat up my eggs. We don't want to go flying everywhere. <laughs> All right, so I've pulled out one chicken breast here. I'm going to lay it in the flour. Make sure we coat it really good. All right, pick it up. Shake off any excess. Lay it in your egg. We're going to lay it into our panko parmesan cheese mixture. Beat it in there because we want this to stick really good. Turn it over. I'm going to put some more on there and just beat it in. All right. All right. Make sure it's coated really good. We're going to lay it on our landing pad here and go back and do the others. So now I I'm at my stove with a deep skillet that I've got turned on onto medium high. I'm going to add about one tablespoon of olive oil to it. And then I'm going to add about one tablespoon of butter to it. And I want to get this sizzling. Alright, so now it's nice and hot in there. I'm going to go ahead and take my chicken two at a time. I'm going to cook two at a time. I don't want to brown out the pan here. And we want to hear that sizzle. Oh, you hear that? That's what we want to hear. I'm going to blow the other one in. All 
All right, so we're going to cook these three to four minutes on each side. We're not wanting to really know that we've cooked them all the way through because that will happen in the oven. So all we're looking for is a nice golden kind of crunchy coating on the bottom. And then we're going to flip them over to the other side. All right, so I've taken a peek, and that is just where I want it. I'm going to flip it over. Oh, look at that. That is crunch right there. All right. Another few minutes on this side, and then we'll do the other two. All right, so it's been about two and a half minutes. I'm going to go ahead and take these out. I'm going to do it on here very carefully. We don't want to break the crust. Okay, now I'm going to lay it in my baking pan here. Oh, look how pretty that looks. All right, I'm going to cook the other two, and then we'll be right back. chicken breasts have been cooked now I'm going to go ahead and add my marinara sauce to them my cheese to them all right so I'm going to put my marinara sauce sauce right in the center there if you can see it's all crunchy around here so we don't want to put any sauce around the edges of it because we want to keep that crunch on that chicken Now I'm going to add my mozzarella cheese that's been shredded very finely. And we're just going to put that right across the sauce, like that, right on there. Okay, y'all, these are going in my oven that's been preheating at 375 degrees for 18 to 20 minutes. Now while I'm putting these in the oven, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my water for my spaghetti and go ahead and get that ready so it's done when these come out of the oven. So we'll be back. Alright y'all, there is my chicken parmesan that I pulled out of the oven. It's been resting for a few minutes while I prepared my spaghetti. Mmm, alright. Y'all need to come up here and check this out. Oh, look at that, y'all. There you go. Alright, there's my simple, easy, delicious chicken parmesan over my spaghetti and sauce. Alright, y'all. Are y'all ready to hear this? There's our bite. Look at that crunch, y'all. All right, I didn't put any tomato sauce or the cheese on a lot of this chicken because I wanted to keep that crunch on there. Oh, doesn't that look good? All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of that sauce on it now. That's on my spaghetti that I put on there. Mmm, good. All right. Mmm. Mmm. All right, y'all. I told y'all I was going to keep this simple, easy, and delicious for you. It is delicious. It's got a nice crunch. The flavors are all there. All right, you don't have to go to a restaurant for chicken parmesan. You can make it at your own house. Simple. The spaghetti cooked in the same amount of time that this was in the oven. Done. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching my show today. Make sure you comment down below. I sure like reading your comments. Give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. My shows come out on Mondays and Thursdays, and I always have surprises along the way, like this one here. All right, y'all. Y'all see you? All right. See you on the next episode.